welcome to today's uh, topic of uh, skin disease reversal uh, focusing on psoriasis eczema vitiligo to begin with uh, the normally one of the most common but at the same time frustrating uh, problems in the skin disease uh, area is uh, psoriasis and yet uh, we understand that psoriasis itself is of many different types so what exactly is psoriasis and what are the different types of psoriasis see psoriasis is basically an autoimmune disease in that the cells are the basic skin cells it takes a it's very fast turnover of the cell usually as you know this turnover of the cell is increasing or the division is becoming uh, speedy division take place in cancer it is actually not cancer it is not that uh, that much change is not happening but some sort of in between sort of thing and it is uh, uh, fast turnover that is why it is uh, the scaling is happening Uh, there are different type of psoriasis is there because according to the uh, presentation but basically it is an autoimmune disease that uh, your uh, immune system is reacting against the skin skin and it is showing the symptoms actually or creating trouble pustula psoriasis scaly psoriasis and so many and it the psoriatic arthritis and it can affect the nails uh, and uh, even uh, it can some be patients it may, can be all over the body some only some part like extensor extensor psoriasis flexural aspect some patients it can be on the flexural aspect or in the ex- extensor aspect it can make a wide different uh, Uh, presentation but when uh, for the treatment point of view whichever is the treatment pattern is the same and usually in the uh, modern medicine that we, we use most of the medicines are immunosuppressants or some applications to uh, reduce the scaling or protect the skin for uh, uh, with this uh, lifestyle modulation point of you it is actually the correcting the body composition and body cells at a cellular level are finding out the toxins involved and the food which is creating trouble so that is the so uh, there is not much importance whatever is the sorrier problem and actually it is uh, many of the problem uh, diseases we may not be able to Uh, say whether it is a psoriasis or eczema both is actually uh, presentation is usually different for the psoriasis and the eczema eczema is usually weeping or the some uh, superficial cells are damaging and the cell fluid is oozing out from the body that is usually and some with itching and uh, itching will be there both and the psoriasis is it usually it is scaly but both is actually autoimmune disease but in a different way it is acting actually this uh, psoriasis sometimes and most often develops uh, either in uh, adulthood or slightly later uh, why what is the change that uh, makes this happen because generally the feel the generally the information is that it has got to do with the, the immune uh, activity of the person so what may what may be the reasons for this to appear on the skin uh, suddenly at a particular time of the his life or his or her life generally all these uh, diseases because most of this skin diseases having one is genetic predisposition next is the environmental factors environmental factors uh, genetic predisposition means uh, the patient the familial 
tenancy if the father or mother or the family members one of them have there is definitely a chance for them to get that disease but in my experience what i see that even there is a if, if uh, one patient in the family maybe one one or four sisters are there one sister may be having psoriasis the other may be having arthritis uh, or uh, rheumatoid arthritis another one may be having uh, an ankylosing spondylitis and this different variations so autoimmune if there is a predisposition for an autoimmune disease there is a chance for getting any of these uh, diseases and next is the when why it is suddenly appearing that is a uh, sudden appearance is uh, usually it is not simply sudden maybe some uh, small lesions on the leg or the hand and but when there is a stressful situation either mentally or physical stress itself mental stress can create uh, precipitate the an uh, exacerbation of the disease or a physical like uh, uh, some viral infection occurs or some allergies comes so even other diseases uh, some heart problem they are put on a stent or uh, some uh, diabetic uh, medication even this uh, adding on because even for the especially for the elderly when when you are getting older and older the medication can also be getting added so that also getting a, making an impact or a disease or a medication or an infection anything can uh, create problem or create exacerbation of the disease because after all it is an immunological problem when a disease comes or a medicine or a toxin or a stress your immune system is getting more stressed so it will uh, present in that way actually when uh we uh, talk about uh, psoriatic uh, patients uh, usually uh, it is thought that uh, some of the at least a good number of psoriatic uh, patients will be having a problem not only on the skin but also maybe in the maybe to do with the heart or uh, gi tract or any of the other eyes and uh, so on and so forth so what actually uh, should we understand if there are symptoms of psoriasis on the skin what are, what other things should be considered see psoriasis is an autoimmune disease so if you have an autoimmune disease other systems can also be involved the psoriatic patients most important is the, the most common is it can affect the joints any joint even the spine uh, spine uh, any of the uh, knee elbow or any or arthritis is a very common uh, co- uh, accompaniment of the psoriasis other than the skin disease and also the nails can be some people the nail will be very much damaged and even mentally also there will be because of the disease itself so much discomfort they will be mentally upset and also the disease factor itself can be affecting the nerves and the brain also so that also is creating problem they may not be able to sleep i have seen people who are not able to sleep because of the itching and trouble they are not able to sleep actually so even the sleep deprivation that itself and also the turnover of the cell is so fast there will not be enough nutrition so multiple factors will be affecting the patient's uh, mental and physical health in uh, uh, psoriasis or any skin disease actually because especially when it is exposed to part of the face uh, and the uh, hand and all is affected it is very difficult for them to go for work and uh, so many and also it is not just a uh, uh, appearance it is actually itching and uh, other trouble and scaling they cannot uh, uh com uh, for if the disease is severe they find it very difficult so it's a very difficult situation actually for the psoriatic patients you know if it is extensive actually from your understanding of uh, uh, this psoriatic treatment 
how how much does uh, actually uh, lifestyle play a part in uh, recovering from the symptoms and uh, the difficulties of psoriasis i am basically giving lifestyle modulation clinically supported lifestyle modulation for the patients and in that uh, i had seen uh, patients who are suffering even uh, like they are saying that when they are coming i'm not able to sleep and the, some may be taking so much of medicines like a methotrexate and the immunosuppressants and the steroids and all even though they will be uh, some may be in a, uh, they are in a remission not much of the problem but they want to come out of medication or they are not taking much of the medicines but uh, or um, uh, they have tried many of the uh, i in kerala there are so many different disciplines of medications or so is available not only modern medicine modern medicines modern medicine we know that uh, that is uh, immunosuppressants mainly and also application you know the uh, steroid ointments and all can be given and this other liquid uh, paraffin sort of uh, this petroleum uh, products also to as an emollient it is also given and we have other system like ayurveda also and homeo even siddha i'd seen the patients usually they may be suffered 20 or 25 or 40 so many years they have tried so many medications but not able to is suffering actually it is modern medicine immunosuppressants is taken then they may get a re- relief but after if, if it is reduced or even after long term use it is not responding we have seen so many different type of patients and what i see with the lifestyle modulation what is so is actually usually the patient will be comfortable within the next visit itself actually when we start the treatment we will do a detailed uh, testing and see try to find out what, uh, which is the ideal Uh, which is uh, which which our food is reacting to for their body and give special food which contains minimum ingredients but all the nutrient because the turnover we have to correct the problems with the, at a cellular level so the nutrition should be uh, all the nutri we should ensure all the nutrient that itself without any color preservatives and uh, such things and also from the minimum Uh, ingredients because if you there are uh, people who has it that many have a tendency to put uh, so many seeds they make a, uh, uh, the things with uh, uh, wheat rice and uh, all the millets and everything in a mix and uh, mix it flour and take a chapati or something like that so it is such things are out to the especially for the autoimmune disease and on for any person with a disease so many ingredients of food items you are eating also is a problem because your immune system is already in trouble so they had to screen all these items so what in a, a clinical modulation clinically modulated lifestyle correction it is act, what we are giving minimum number of ingredients and and the the special food is given and they can add one by one each uh, food to see which is actually comforting which is com- uh, making trouble usually the patient will be comfortable within a week itself a uh, patient will be able to uh, sleep comfortably within a week and usually within one month because the turnover time for the skin cells is uh, almost 3 to 4 weeks it will take for the skin to become reasonably normalized within a month but there will be the hypopigmentation or hypopigmentation and slight problems will be there uh, it will be also corrected if the patient is diligent and uh, uh, correctly following the instruction most of the patients can come out of the problems almost reasonably healthy skin within 3 months and they had to only think after that also what we are giving is special food and also special uh, protective nutritional oil for the uh, skin 
uh, which contains uh, omega 3 6 and 9 in a special composition with the fat soluble vitamins actually so this will actually give direct nutrition to the skin also skin can absorb nutrition just like uh, uh, the intestine but not in that quantity but the this uh, oils or lea items that are, which is in the triglyceride format and the fat soluble vitamins they can absorb easily and it is so actually give us a protecting coating also so, uh, so if, uh, if the disease is severe they have to put it frequently and uh, it depends on the so, um, uh, condition of the skin three times or five times or whatever but uh, within uh, some time it will be uh, getting corrected and then they can reduce the number of application and all and this even the contact this uh, they should uh, take care of this clothing also to uh, take a simple cotton a non irritant some cotton or linen clothing and all so it will be easily basically it is very easy to if you uh, get to how to go ahead it is very easily you can correct this uh, uh, problem actually only thing you should be willing for a lifestyle correction and you have to stick to the instructions that's all now coming to eczema uh, actually how is it that a person can make out whether it is eczema or whether it is uh, psoriasis or whether it is uh, any other skin condition see uh, usually as a, um, as a patient point of view the scaling is happening this uh, dust is coming from the skin it is usually psoriasis. If it is itching and uh, this oozing is there and the skin is peeling off such the problem and then it will be eczema. So generally for the like, clinically supported lifestyle correction it doesn't matter whether it is eczema, whether it is uh, uh, psoriasis. And uh, I had seen patients who had uh, um, some part it will look like uh, um, eczema and some part it like uh, look like uh, uh, psoriasis also and uh, some people, patients have shown us told that uh, they, it is from the birth it means uh, within few days after birth itself it has started but it is continuing and uh, the whole skin is damaged it is we cannot say it is psoriasis but you know they usually uh, this uh, childhood, if it started from birth, it will uh, we take it as eczema, atopic dermatitis. But after some time, it is changed. Then, but for the clinically uh, modulated lifestyle correction, clinically supported lifestyle correction uh, for this uh, eczema or the psoriasis, it doesn't matter. Both is an autoimmune disease. What we are trying to correct is the immune system, the body. If the body is getting corrected, then whatever is the or the uh, immune system is getting corrected, it doesn't matter. Even if it is having psoriasis and arthritis, it is okay. If the patient is having diabetes or hypertension along with that also, that will also clear with the problem, uh, this correction. Because here the special uh, food will be there for the, uh, we are finding out which is the ideal food for the body. And also uh, certain exercises are there, and also some applicant because the skin disease this uh, applying on the on the skin is also very important. With that, it is very easy to correct actually. And if there is other diseases also along with that, that I can also give corrected. In the case of eczema, uh, there is always a fear that you know it is contagious, or whether it. Uh, you can catch it if you are in contact with a person who has eczema. Uh, what is the current status on that? No, eczema and psoriasis both the doesn't, it is not contagious actually. It is uh, contagious means it is it, uh, the reason for the disease is the uh, infection, it's a microbe. So it will be spreading, but it is not uh, contagious. Uh, uh, according to, I don't, I have not seen anything uh, regarding it is contagious only thing the if skin is get infected with the staphylococcus or some other spreading uh, infection it can uh, other infections occur it can it may spread but it is not a contagious disease 
only thing it will be the look is uh, the people will be very uh, uh, discomforting actually the lesions look and the family members can get the, the close family member genetic predisposition is there it is not it is because of the genetic predisposition if the another family member is getting but others need not have to worry about it uh, the uh, that is also not because of the con uh, contact or uh, spreading that is genetic predisposition is there so they, they can also get that so so don't worry about the uh, if you are seeing a psoriatic patient or eczema patient there is no need to worry whether you will also get the disease regarding eczema and also uh, regarding the psoriasis uh, both of these uh, at certain points in time they suddenly flare up in the patient and uh, then it becomes very unbearable at that time it suddenly seems to be spreading and all that what exactly can the patient do in such a situation see remission and flare up that is uh, it is there with the, all the autoimmune diseases so when you are correct taking the correct food correct exercise and the relaxed you will not be having this problem and uh, you uh, after treatment also when you are uh, relaxed uh, everything is sitting uh, corrected but again if a stressful situation occur or a infection some sort of external infection like a bacterial infection or viral infection occurs so that is also a stress to the immune system the mental stress or the physical stress or an inflammatory stress or a, you are taking junk food if you are continuously taking junk food and uh, that also contains so much of chemicals inside and it may be take, you are taking something which is may, may be a uh, alarm, uh, it is not a tolerant for tolerant food for you in such cases it can uh flaring up that is the reason for this flare up or sudden uh, acute attack or some sort of flaring up comes because of that uh, yet another skin disease that uh, uh, is actually quite a troubling of a troubling nature is uh, vitiligo uh, what exactly is it that creates this situation of vitiligo in a patient see vitiligo is also another autoimmune disease in that only the melanocyte that is uh, uh, the uh, cells which is giving color for your skin is affected so they are attacked by our own immune system and they are destroyed so that part will become white uh, it is more prominent in this darker skin patients actually for indians and uh, africans and it's so uh, very prominent it will be so but other no, not like uh, this uh, so psoriasis and eczema the skin cells which is peeling and uh, itching and all will be there but in the initial stage the patient will not be having any only this color problem will be there and uh, usually it is uh, more many of the patients the internal part will be initially affected so they will ignore it and even the private parts if it is uh, in the uh, lips and uh, the face will notice is uh, easily but in the private parts they may not know it also but if you are able to identify it early you will be, it will be you find out the reason what is the reason which is your immune system is derailed you have to find out the reason for the derailment of the immune system and correct it that is the basic uh, uh, treatment for the this uh, uh, vitiligo uh, patients actually but uh, usually the people are very reluctant for that the correction because they are not having much discomfort so they don't want to correct the lifestyle and that is one of the reason but uh, the main treatment for the vitiligo is this uh, uh, this pua therapy that is actually uh, soral in one medication which is uh, sensitizing your skin for the ultraviolet rays actually so that is actually 
this uh, white uh, this uh, melanin is uh, produced to uh, is actually protecting the skin from this ultraviolet rays that is why the uh, tropical uh, region the people is having darker skin actually it is protective you are uh, losing the protection actually but in as a treatment but actually you are exposing the ultraviolet rays to the skin and it's actually a cancerogenic that is the uh, risk of that. So this uh, uh, medication and the ultraviolet rays itself as we have got we are using for the uh, therapy also is actually uh, creating trouble for the skin also. The ideal treatment is you get um, find out the reason for your derailment and correct it. Actually in the case of uh, vitiligo uh, uh, the, the because of this loss of melanin, uh, how does how does it uh, matter when it uh, com uh, when uh, this uh, sun rays uh, the skin is exposed to sun rays? There is is there more chance of developing cancers and all that? Yeah, that is the problem actually. There are uh, people who has uh, complete uh, loss of uh, this uh, skin color. And if that is one of the treatment actually, if there is some patches are there, that also, there are medicines to destroy the melanocytes actually. So destroy the melanocytes so they will look like uh, this, like Europeans, it's the color will be different. So uh, prima facie look like there will not be any problem at all, they look very fair person. But the problem is I had seen people who has completely lost the color. In that problem is actually they their tolerance to sunlight will be very uh, very less, and so they will find it uncomfortable. So they had to protect them from the sunlight. That is the major. Otherwise, there is not of much a problem. The sunlight will be uh, a problem for them. And if you are, they are such a people with vitiligo, if they are getting so much of sunlight, they the chance of getting uh, skin cancer is high. The European population the, with the, the skin, lighter skin, the chance of getting cancer will be, uh, skin cancer is high. S just like uh, that, this uh, vitiligo, the chance of getting uh, cancer is high. And especially when you are taking poor therapy, you are definitely increasing the chance also. I am not uh, talking against the poor therapy or anything, but we should, whenever you take your treatment, you should know the side effects also. You should uh, just, uh, uh, that is positive, definitely. It is uh, that it has the capacity to uh, regrow the skin color and all. But you should know the side effect also. Then only, uh, when, when whatever medication, there will be benefits and also side effects. I am talking about the side effects also. Uh, you should understand any patient who is undergoing all this things they should understand the uh, side effect also. Regarding uh, skin disorders, it is often said that see, uh, serious skin disorders like psoriasis, vitiligo, eczema uh, and all that, the, the patient normally faces a lot of uh, mental stress associated with the disorder. Uh, so, in the case of the patients who are suffering from such a situation, what exactly is your suggestion about how they can overcome that mental stress part of it also, which can negatively affect their skin condition? See, mental stress, so we can't say, don't be stressed, it's okay. It will not give you the relaxation for the patient anyway. You have to get out of the disease. That is the, for the eczema and psoriasis, my experience, I have a lot of experience and the patient is feeling, uh, if you can come out of the problem, usually, usually. I had, I have seen so many, I had treated so many uh, psoriatic patients and eczema patients and uh, it, it is very, Simply it is very easy actually for to come out of the disease and only thing they should be willing for some sort of lifestyle correction. 
that means if you are obesity if you have excess fat in your body you have to get out of that because the fat is the one thing which is controlling the immune system if you have excess fat in the body in the treatment itself what we are trying to do is to correct the uh, body mass uh, this uh, lean mass fat mass ratio and also the fat itself the fat Uh, omega 3 is balance in the fat and also at the cellular level if you are able to correct and the patient is willing to follow the instructions do basic exercise and uh, correct the uh, diet habits and find out the which is the correct diet, uh, food for them and even i had seen the kerala uh, my my patients the staple diet is uh, um, rice i have seen patients with uh, who has um, they cannot take rice right this is intolerant and the many of this autoimmune disease the gluten is a problem so you cannot take wheat but there are so many other options also the patient need not worry about it because there are so many the uh, this uh, cereals are for the carbohydrate and if you you don't you have so many other carbohydrate options are there are uh, roots tapioca uh, uh, potato uh, banana and also so many millets we have available uh, available so you can find out your which is most suitable for your body and uh, then continue with that diet and uh, even uh, some vegetables so it's not only the cereals the some protein uh, some may not be tolerant about the egg milk or even uh, some of the meat preparations so we had to find out even the vegetables and fruits some fruits uh, they may be reacting so find out which is actually comfortable for you and stick with that and uh, initial stage you will meet 3 to 6 months actually in the clinical support what we are giving is mainly for the 3 to 6 months three months uh, special food is given and special exercise is given to uh, correct the body composition lean mass fat mass ratio correction and also this omega 3 only by correcting the lean mass ratio fat mass ratio correction only this uh, uh, omega 3 balance which will be corrected because in our general food the omega 6 is very high we are taking so much of uh, nuts and uh, oil seeds and cooking oil vegetable oil so if the person most of the patients who is sick will be uh, maybe obesity or overweight will be there even if it is normal weight also the fat content will be very high because because of the sickness and if in uh, so there may be psoriatic arthritis part will be there so the physical activity is reduced so the muscle and bones will be less and the fat will be excess so that we had to get corrected for that special exercise in the sitting or the lying down position not gym exercise or heavy exercise or anything but with that even if it is you are overweight you can even uh, reduce on 20% of the weight excess weight if the person is psoriatic and the 100 kg weight is there he can come down to 80 kg within 3 uh, months and uh, even if any other trouble is there it can be easily corrected and uh, like uh, obesity hypertension if uh, obese also definitely such things also will be there and also if the patient is taking uh, medication steroids and uh, other medicines also will be diabetogenic so many patients who are on long term uh, treatment for this sort of medications they will be diabetic also so those these diabetes also can be reversed along with the reversal of the uh, skin condition itself and uh, more difficult is actually this uh, vitiligo vitiligo if it is in the initial stage it is easy to correct but if it is progressed the whole body is affected it is not possible to reverse it but if any we can because it is an autoimmune disease other autoimmune diseases also can come like uh, a kidney can be affected or other systems can be affected so that can be prevented by finding out which is actually this uh, clinical support and all 
can uh, support in that generally in the case of uh, skin disorders like uh, uh, psoriasis eczema and vitiligo and all the general outlook is uh, or medications that are primarily applied on the skin uh, but at the same time uh, we generally understand that these disorders have a more deeper background and foundation not only at the skin level uh, so in such case what is your experience of uh, uh, how the treatment should be for patients who are suffering from such disorders see basically these are the autoimmune disease or your immune system is attacking against uh, working against you but is because they don't know what to do actually uh, like uh, something like uh, the uh, cells are uh, become neurotic or psychotic they don't know that is what uh, in the in general uh, what is a psycho- psychiatric patients they know don't know what to, what they are doing just like that here the cell is actually attacking their own our own body why it is happening because they have got uh, this derailment is happening in the uh, instructions getting for them so that is why basically our body is made of food what we eat is sound, turning out into our body so that we should understand the basic reason for all the diseases will have a or the recovery as if uh, some infection you know bacterial infection viral infection that is the reason is the bacteria or virus even the bacteria or virus is attacking is when we are weak only if you are healthy the um, bacteria you can easily come out of the your immune system will save you from the you can fight it and uh, you will not even know so the subclinical infection most of these problems have a deeper foundation in the body but at the same time medications are more or less restricted to the skin so what is your experience about how such disorders should be treated see if the latest medications actually not restricted to skin alone there are so many oral medications also given like methotrexate oral immunosuppressants and even the latest uh, medications like biologicals uh, monoclonal antibodies so many medicines are there for the injectables and all is there for this uh, sort of um, uh, diseases i had uh, seen many patients who are using that also but they are not of much uh, comfort even with uh, the latest uh, biologicals this mono- monoclonal antibody sort of medications are very expensive also uh, for uh, in india almost 10000 to 50000 or much more than that uh, maybe in other countries it may be much more costlier in india generally the medications are uh, comparatively Uh, economic we get it economically so it is uh, there are uh, local applications are there but uh, in today medications is mainly more concentrated on this sort of medication the latest medicines are all even injectables and all is available another thing is all these medications which is given is immunosuppressants the immune system is derailed they are attacking the your uh, skin actually so what we are doing with the medications they are all in suppressing your immunity and it is you are not it is not suppressing the immunity in the skin level only it is the whole immune uh, the whole body it is uh, suppressing actually so your immune system is actually uh, suppressed so what is the problem with this medication one is you are trying to get a symptomatic relief you are not getting any uh, you are not able to reverse the disease with this medication only that symptoms is reduced by putting the immune system at uh, uh, keeping it suppressed what is the complication with that so you are prone for infection and also to get uh, other uh, cancers 
and also to get other autoimmune diseases. That is the problem actually when you are taking medications for a long time. Uh, the one of the most commonly used medicine is methotrexate. Methotrexate is an anti-metaboloid that itself is a cancer medicine also. In most of this uh, medication, even this monoclonal antibody, biologicals, the latest medicines, they are also interchangeably used for cancer, autoimmune disease, other autoimmune diseases, not only for the uh, skin psoriasis or uh, alone, for uh, other um, arthritis and the cancer, all we are using it because we are trying to modulate the immune system. In the cancer also, the immune system, it's also a, uh, a problem with the immune system. The cancer cells which should be destroyed by the immune system, it is not happening. So, what is the what we should understand that it is not a superficial thing or uh, on the skin alone. It is actually having a deeper or the immune system is uh, whole body is uh, connected with the immune system or the immune organs is the all the uh, body is uh, it is distributed all over the body. Actually the primary layer of the immune system is the skin. Immune system, the skin is protecting you from the external world. So that itself is affected. When the skin is affected, the bacteria can enter, all the this, even the pollution, uh, uh, air pollution, uh, bacteria, anything can attack you. So cut is, uh, health of the skin is very important. And uh, it is actually the primary protective wall of the immune system. Actually, it is a part of the immune system itself. So, it itself is getting attacked. So, how we can deal with it is, it is only that is symptomatic relief for a short term. If you are getting a flare-up for a short time, you can get a, a steroid or medication and uh, that is okay. But primary cause of this all disease is, you should understand, it is lifestyle disease or maybe some genetic predisposition is there. But the, you can get a reversal or you can get a cure only through this lifestyle correction actually. You had to correct your board, you had to learn how to live with uh, for, uh, uh, understanding your limitations of your body. With this we come to the end of the, today's discussion. Thank you.